Hey there, this is Gerald Axel from Prose Tutorials, and in this video I'm going to talk about what is a canonical tag, why and when should you use it, and more importantly, how to use it. And I know that this might sound quite complicated, I mean, what the heck is a canonical tag? But you will see by the end of this video that this is rather something quite simple, and once you know how to use it properly, you can avoid having problems with duplicate content. So let's get started. Let's talk about what is a canonical tag. Well, for you to understand this, the first thing that you must understand is what do the search engines want to provide as experience to their users? Well, Let's say, for example, if you wanted to make a website, uh, I mean, you can build a website in different ways. You can build it in HTML, CSS, in WordPress, in Drupal. So you have several ways to build a website. And most likely, if you wanted to learn how to make a website, you would go to Google. And I'm going to talk about, namely about Google, because Google is the, the main search engine. It's the one that receives the most traffic. And if you are doing SEO, typically your main focus is getting your website ranking inside of Google because of all of those reasons. So you would go to Google and you would type in something like how to make a website because you want to learn about this topic. First you would see a few web pages that are the advertisement. This means that they are paying to Google so they can have this placing inside of this listing which is related to how to make a website. So how to make a website is the search term or you can also call it a keyword. Then below you would see a listing of 10 results that are ranking organically inside of this listing. Organically means that they are ranking freely, they haven't paid Google so they can have this ranking inside of their listing. And of course you have several pages all related to how to make a website, which is the keyword. So let's say that you would enter in the first website, in the first web page, and you wanted to build the website in HTML and CSS, you would enter in this first web page, and you would see a tutorial that would be related to uh, WordPress, how to make a website in WordPress. Of course, you wouldn't be interested in this uh, tutorial because you want to learn how to make a website in HTML and CSS. So you would probably jump from this website and go to the second results. And once you enter in the second web page, once again, you will find an exact copy of the previous website that you just went. So it would be once again a tutorial related to WordPress. And of course you would jump, you probably would go to the third result and the same thing would happen again and again. So what I'm saying is you would find a listing of 10 results all providing duplicate content and of course this wouldn't be uh, it wouldn't be useful for you as a user and Google knows this so what Google wants to provide to their users once you are searching searching for something is to provide as much of unique content to you as possible this means that if you go to the first results and if you don't find what you want in this in this first web page then you may go to the second web page and find different content that is more related to what you are trying to find inside of Google. So that's the kind of experience that Google and also other search engines want to provide to their users. They want you to search for something for this keyword, how to make a website and find as much unique content as possible inside of this listing. Now this would be easy if everyone on the internet was just writing original content and publishing on their own website. I mean the search engines wouldn't have a hard time uh, providing listings with just original content that way. But that's certainly not the case because people are constantly copying content from other websites and publishing inside of their own. And even popular websites do this all the time. So it's something that is quite common to happen on the internet. But what happens is eventually the search engine robots start having a hard time knowing where they can find the original source of information. Or in other words, which was the, the website that 
first publish that piece of content on the web and that's the website that they should give influence and also in index it inside of their listing so once you publish a piece of content on the web you are the the original owner of that piece of content but eventually you have website a which just copy and paste that the content inside of their own website uh, site B which does exactly the same, site C and D and so on and so on. So eventually you have a bunch of websites that have the same exact article inside of their own website and of course I mean the search engine robots start having quite a hard time knowing where they can find the original source of information. And that's the reason why you have the canonical tag. I mean, there's no nothing wrong about you copying content from other websites and publishing inside of your own website if you have the authorization from that author and also if you decide to use the canonical tag in the copy post that you publish in your website. And you can see the HTML coding on the notation below. And basically, you should always use this anytime that you decide to paste copied content from another website into your own website. And you, you use this canonical tag in that web page. And basically what you are saying is once the search engine robots go to that web page that you have in your website where you have copied content, you are basically saying to the search engine robots that this web page in your website is copied content. They should not give influence to that web page. And instead, they should go to this URL over here that you have in this tag. And this is where they are able to find the original piece of content. And this is the one that they should give influence and also rank it well inside of their search engine listing. So that's basically what you're, you're telling the search engine robots once you are using the canonical tag. Now, if you have a website designed in HTML and CSS, then you should use this uh, this HTML tag inside of the header section of your web page. In my case, I have websites in WordPress, and for this I use a plugin called Yoast SEO. If you don't know, this is a plugin which is a complete package that allows you to easily optimize your website for the search engine. And also you have one of the features that comes with this plugin is the canonical tag which you can really easily use it so I'm going to show to you how you can do this now now I'm going to show to you how you can use the canonical tag by installing a plugin called Yoast SEO okay so this is my test website and over here you can see that I have copied content from my main website which is exactly this post so this is my main website a way for you to prevent having can, any kind of penalization on your website from Google and other search engines for having copied content is by using the canonical tag as I already mentioned. So you want to go to the dashboard of your website and you want to go to the plugin section and have new because you want to install a plugin called Yoast SEO. So you want to search for Yoast SEO and I'm not going in great detail with this plugin in this in this video but if you want to learn more about this plugin and how to use every single feature that comes with this plugin then just click on the link that you can see on the video screen so you can watch my other video where I go step by step. So in this page you want to press install now so you can start using it and activate this plugin in your website. Okay, so you can see that now I have this plugin installed. I even have a new session called SEO with a lot of different features. Now you want to go to the post where you have the, the copied content. So I'm going to all posts and it's this one. I'm going to edit. Once I go to edit and I go right below to the very ending of this post, you can see that now I have a new box, which is the, the SEO box that comes with this plugin. And now I want to go to this advanced option. And you can see once I go to the advanced option, 
now I have this feature called canonical URL. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to grab the URL from the website where you got the copied content. In this case, well, it's this one. So I'm going to grab this URL over here, just going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it in this blank area that you can see right here, just like this. So this is how you can use the canonical URL with this plugin. Now you just want to press update. And that's basically all that you need to do once you're using this plugin. It's really easy. So basically what happens is once the, the search engine robots go to this web page that you have in your website, in this case this one, once they go to this web page, they will see that this is copied content because you have the canonical tag. And the canonical tag is pointing to this website. So basically what you are doing is you are redirecting the robots to this web page so they can find the original content, the content that they should actually index inside of the search engine and give influence inside of the search engine. So basically that's what the canonical tag does it's really simple for you to use once you are using this plugin and it's a great way for you to prevent having any kind of penalizations for having duplicate content inside of your website okay so that is all for this video i hope you enjoy please subscribe so you can receive my weekly video updates where i talk about seo wordpress how to make money online and much more so stay there stay tuned with pro tutorials and bye